Hi guys, I'm Claire. Today I'm going to show you how to make three different types of friendship bracelets. They're super easy, super fun, and they look really cute. All you're going to need is some friendship string, a clipboard, and a friend. So, follow me. So, you're going to take your friendship string and you're going to unravel it carefully. It gets very tangled, as you can see. <laughs> uh. Then you're gonna take the end of it, hold it, do about an arm length and a half. Cut. Then you'll take your other string, be a little more careful this time, <laughs> unlike me. Nope, it's not careful. Line it up, same thing. Then you're gonna do the same thing again with the third string. Trim. Then find the center of those strings and tie a basic knot. I leave about an inch of the string at the end so you can tie it onto a water bottle or a clipboard. And then your wrist. I have a clipboard. So I'm going to loop it under and pull the tail through. There you go. To start the staircase, you're going to just pick one of your strings and separate it from the group of strings. You're going to take that string and you're going to make a four over the rest of your strings. You're going to take the end of the four, wrap it around and under and through the loop. So you have a knot like this, and then you're just going to tighten it. You're going to repeat that step as many times as you want, and it's going to make a little staircase of knots. So I just did three, so now I'm going to switch colors, and I'm going to pick the orange string. And you're going to do the exact same thing you did with the green. Four, under and through, tighten. And that's all you're going to do for the entire bracelet. Cool, so we're going to do a candy stripe. So to start that one, you're going to take off the pieces of paper. Um, an easy way to not tangle these is to put your hand through the middle, find the end, and start unraveling. You're going to want about maybe like two arm lengths of string. Cut it, set that aside. Do the same thing for the yellow and the pink. Then you're gonna find the center of your strings. Tie a knot. And then leave about like an inch at the end. Tie onto a water bottle or a clipboard. Got a clipper here, you know, feed it under, take the tail, go through the knot. There you go. You can start your bracelet. To start the candy stripe, you're gonna pick a string out, and you're gonna set it aside, and you're gonna choose the order that you want your colors to be in. So I'm going yellow, blue, pink. Yellow, blue, pink. You're going to make a knot, which looks like a nine, over the far right string. And you're going to go under and through. Tie it tight. Every time you make a knot, you have to make two knots. So you're going to do the same thing again. Go to the next string. Make a nine, go under, pull it through, tie it tight, do an additional knot. Then we're gonna go to the yellow. Do the same thing. Once you get the hang of this, you can go really fast.
last string, do the same thing. Alright, that row's done. So then you're gonna go to the far right again and pick that blue string up and do the same thing that you just did with the yellow. You can do this with three, but four is a little easier. So you're gonna take a little piece of paper off, try to untangle it so you don't have issues later. And then you're gonna take the end, uh, uh, like an arm length and a half. Cut it, repeat the process with your other colors. So then once you've cut all your strings, you're gonna find the middle. tie a knot. Leave about an inch on the end to tie onto a water bottle or a clipboard or to tape down to a table. Then I grab my clipboard, feed it through, take the tail, put it through the knot, and now it's secure and you can start doing your bracelet. Make sure your knot's tied nice and tight. Then you're going to separate your strings so there's one color of each on both sides and you're gonna to wanna to put them in the same order. So I'm gonna do pink, blue, uh, gray, and then white. And then you do that on the same side, the other side. Same colors. Pink, blue, gray, and white. So it looks like this. Then you can pick a side to start on, doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with the left side. Put these to the side. Take the pink string, make four on the blue, go under and through. Every time you tie a knot, you gotta tie an additional knot, otherwise it will not work. You need two knots every time. So then put the blue to the side, grab your next color, which is the gray. Make four with the pink, pull through, tie a knot. Do that again. Then the last color is white. Make four, pull through, make four, pull through. And set this to the side and do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna make a nine this time. Four on this side, nine on this side. Pull through. It's gonna look a little wonky at the beginning because you're getting your strings in the right order. But don't worry, it'll turn out. Gray, same thing. Four, pull through. Then you're going to take the two pink strings that should be in the middle now.
So to finish off your bracelets, you're going to split the six strings into two groups of three and then braid and tie a knot. So I did this one already so you can see, but basically you take the outside strings and you cross them over the inside strings. So outside over the inside, outside over the new inside, and then you just keep doing that over and over again until you get your desired length. So outside to the middle, that becomes the new middle, outside to the middle, that becomes the new middle. And then you just do that all the way down. So for your chevron, you're gonna end it the same way, except you have four strings. So you're just gonna pick one of the strings to double up and then you're gonna braid it like you normally were. And you'll do that on both sides. Thanks for watching and I hope you have fun making your bracelets. See you next summer.